The Republic of Indian Stream was a small, short-lived, and peculiar independent state that existed from 1832 to 1835 in a disputed area between the United States and British Canada, located in what is now the town of Pittsburgh, New Hampshire. This republic arose due to conflicting territorial claims between the state of New Hampshire, U.S., and Lower Canada, part of the British Empire. Both parties claimed ownership over a 282-square-mile area near the Connecticut River headwaters, which had not been clearly delineated in earlier treaties, specifically the Treaty of Paris, 1783. The confusion stemmed from the unclear definition of boundaries following the American Revolutionary War. Britain and the U.S. disagreed over whether the land should fall under American or British control. The residents of this territory, tired of conflicting demands from both sides, including requests for taxes and military service, decided to establish their own independent government. On July 9, 1832, the people of the region declared the formation of the Republic of Indian Stream. They adopted their own constitution and created a local government with elected representatives. The Republic's intention was to remain neutral and avoid siding with either the United States or the British authorities. Its citizens wanted to regulate their own internal affairs without interference from either neighboring power. The Republic had a rudimentary legal system and maintained peaceful relations with both sides. It issued laws, levied taxes, and resolved disputes within the community. While small in population, around 300 inhabitants, the citizens conducted daily activities like farming and trade, relying on cooperation among themselves. Despite its aspirations of neutrality, the area remained in a delicate diplomatic position. Both the U.S. and Britain kept a close watch on the Republic, trying to influence the situation in their favor. Skirmishes between officials of both nations occasionally erupted. For example, New Hampshire officials arrested some Indian stream residents for failing to pay state taxes, causing unrest. In 1835, the Republic of Indian Stream's independence came to an end. A New Hampshire militia marched into the territory, asserting U.S. control. Faced with pressure, the Republic dissolved, and most residents accepted the authority of New Hampshire. The Webster-Ashburton Treaty of 1842 finally resolved the boundary dispute between the United States and British Canada, officially bringing the Indian Stream area under U.S. jurisdiction. Although it lasted only a few years, the Republic of Indian Stream remains a curious example of a self-declared independent state born out of the complexities of early American diplomacy. Its brief history reflects the challenges of border conflicts and the desire for self-governance among frontier communities during that era. Today, the area is part of Pittsburgh, New Hampshire, but the story of Indian Stream continues to capture the imagination of historians and local enthusiasts.